Well, it's Wednesday, which means it's time for KATK Gives Back. They are the first ones to respond during emergencies, and that's why we are showing our gratitude by offering first responders around East Texas a free lunch. Let's go now to KATK Today anchor Isaac Ramirez, who joins us live from noonday. Good morning, Isaac. Hey, Cynthia, we're out here at the Noonday Fire Department for KETK Gives Back. I'm just out here, you know, tilling this truck, saving people's lives. No, just kidding. I'm not the one doing that. I'm not a professional. It's these guys that are over here. How are you doing, guys? Okay, I'm about to get out of this truck. This is going to be fun. This is all part of KETK Gives Back. I don't know how you guys do this. See, I'm all wrapped up. My cables are all wrapped up. Okay, my FB is out. So, guys, I won't be able to hear y'all if y'all are talking to me. But anyway, here they are, the Noonday Fire Department. How are you guys doing? Very good. Great. And here we are, Chief Harper. And you guys are getting recognized today. How does that feel? Feels great. We're glad to have the community support and have y'all support as well. And that's what I wanted to ask you guys. How do you describe the community support that you guys have? Uh, we get several donations throughout the city uh, from anything from money to cookies to whatever. We have a very good uh, support group here in New Day. Mm, and that is why we're also showing our appreciation. We brought them some sandwiches, guys, some cookies, some sweet tea. Perfect for lunchtime, am I right? Absolutely. We'll never turn down free food. <laughs> so tomorrow is a big day. Y'all do happen to know what tomorrow is, right? Fourth of July. It's America's birthday. Yes. But you know, on that day, People are going to be popping fireworks. What should parents know before they start popping those fireworks? Just uh, supervise children. Make sure have a, some type of water supply, whether it's a garden hose, something close by, just in case. People will also be cooking. They'll be grilling as well. Uh, have you run into situations where a fire was started from a grill? Absolutely. Uh, a lot of people sometimes don't put their uh, grills far enough away from their house, so make sure that's uh, far enough away from any structure. There is right now, we actually did a story on this last year, on the shortage or the need for volunteer fire departments or firefighters across the state and the country. Is that something you guys have seen or witnessed or experienced? Yes, that's a nationwide. Uh, we just don't have the volunteers that we used to. That's a nationwide uh, crisis and we're always looking for volunteers. And if someone watching right now wants to volunteer, you know, who can sign up and how can they do it? Uh, come to the fire station. We'll give them an application. Uh, we'll review their application. Uh, if they're accepted, then we'll send them through training and uh, get them trained and certified. Thank you guys very much Thank you. for everything that you guys do because y'all do more than just put out fire. Y'all are out there doing inspections and all this other sorts of things, aren't y'all? Yes. Uh, we do anything when the tones drop, no matter what the call is. Uh, it could be a tree down, a house fire, medical call. We, we pretty much do it all. Thank you very much, guys. Again, this is part of KHK Gives Back today. We are showing our appreciation to the Noonday Fire Department. A big, big thank you to Peter's Chevrolet. Uh, they're the ones that make this possible. Without Peter's, we wouldn't be able to do this each and every single Monday this year. Also, something that Peter's is doing at the end of the year, one of these volunteer fire departments, police departments, sheriff's offices, you name it, will be selected for a $5,000 cash prize. And I know 5000 bucks goes a long way. Reporting live from Noonday, Isaac Ramirez, KETK News.